Hello everyone, welcome back to Forma Therapy. This is the Culture Study. I'm the channel's video producer and your host. You can call me PD. And today we are checking out Tomboy by Idol. Idol is back after what feels like a forever comeback. Like it has been so long. What was their last one? Hua? Like it feels like that was ages ago. But finally, Idol is back and you know, my friend said something really interesting. It's like, you don't realize how legendary they truly are when they're missing, but once they return, you're like, oh shoot, I forgot. And I'm being reminded of how epic they are. So I've got some pretty, pretty high expectations for this one. Now, before we actually get into today's video though, let's actually talk about the sponsor of today's video, Flexispot. So guys, we are actually moving into a new office and our friends over at Flexispot actually sent us over a two-tier standing desk to both try out and also feature in this ad. The desk they sent me has a two-tier design, so you can put your monitor on top, which is the perfect level for reading and working. And for me, I film like 50, 60 hours a month for our Patreon content, so I can't just be sitting all the time. Uh, I did that for a good part of all last year, and I realized it was messing up my back, it was messing up my posture, my body was hurting which is why a standing desk is perfect. And with Flexispot, they have four programmable height settings, so you could be sitting and then you just press a button and then switches into a standing desk and then you can work while standing up. Especially in this new work from home world that we live in, I think it's important that all of us has a standing desk so we're just not sitting all day. It's unnatural for a human to be sitting all day. So, so the Flexispot desk also has a very spacious workspace. It's environmentally sourced and it's got a very heavy steel frame. So it's got 132 weight pound limit. So you can put a lot of stuff on there too. And also Flexispot comes with a five year warranty for the frame and the motor and then a two year warranty for the electronic. Now, if you want a Flexispot desk, they are running a one day flash sale on the 16th of March, you get 20% off your order. That's a lot. So if you're working from home or you've been thinking about getting a standing desk, Take the plunge now. There's a one day flash sale. You can use my link in the description below. Again, that's March 16th. You get 20% off on Amazon and then that's it. So get it now while you can. Thank you to Flexispot for sponsoring this video and this channel. Let's get into today's video. This is Tomboy by Idol and this is your form of therapy. Something is my attitude. It's been a while. Look at you. Mom, what gum dung and lar? You too. I've hug. Keep burning coat like bro. Look, my toe. My accident tattoo. I got two drink up now. Nigga, shit, I had to do it. Why are you cranky, boy? My girl, Her outfit was super dope. Your mom was as a prince, but this is Queen Dom, right? I like to dance, I love my friends, sometimes it's where we don't take a rest. I like to act, I'm drinking whiskey, I won't change it, what the hell? Meeting Joe, eat a muddy, what's the move to me? Sadong, she she put a go, you look to me. Sadong, I got to tell me, I'm bang with all your mom's chin. Oh, yeah, I'm not a miss, not here, but yeah, I'm tumble. Ooh, Oogie's voice during when she says tomboy, it hits very different.
that was that was excellent. <sighs> Tomboy. Idol is truly legendary. Um, it wasn't until recently, you know, with their comeback coming up, we were just going back and uh, listening to previous Idol songs and thinking back to like, Uh Oh by Idol. I just thought, wow, Uh Oh, didn't know it at the time, but holy moly, that was one hell of a dope comeback and it was so innovative and tomboy follows in those footsteps i like tomboy is very i would say older version of idol i i think idol by now they've had so many comebacks they have in my opinion two kind of established songs they have like their more emotional artistic sound i think that's where ha and stuff like oh my god fall into and then they have their incredibly catchy very mainstream pop but also the type of comebacks that feel just really 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 amazing like just like it's pop but pop in the purest and most innovative sense of the word and i feel like idols senorita was very much that type of song uh oh was that much like that type of song la ta ta those songs and tomboy falls into that regard leaning way more pop than it does in like the artistic expression part of like oh my god or even ha um it, it feels almost like a reset for this group and i feel like idol after being away for so long and what they've been through this was kind of like a make or break moment for this group they really had to come at this with full force i think they knew it i think the label knew it and for me i think they completely nailed it um this was pretty punk and i'm digging it i love the I mean, once, like, one, I love just punk rock. It's friggin' dope. But I love the pop punk sound as well. And this one, this is kind of like, um, you know, uh, and Hypen, they had Bless Cursed uh, a little while ago. And that one was just a little short for my taste, even though that song is amazing. This one fully realizes that pop punk sound, and they go all in. And I really, really, really enjoyed it. If... I would say and Hypen was a little bit more like early 2000s sort of pop punk. Idol is a little bit more forward than that. I would say they're more like uh, late 2000s sort of pop punk. And I, I dig it. They've got like an alternative pop punk sound going on. Um, let's check out the music video again so we can talk about it a little bit more. Here we go. Everyone looks so good. Look at you. This opening. That is a show-stopping opening. That is incredible. I want to see live stages for this. I want to see end of the year stages for this. That is one crazy, crazy opening. If I was obsessed with the ending portion for our Idol's Senorita, I'm obsessed with their opening for Tomboy. It's such a great, great lead up. My God. You I also love this room. Those transitions right there. When it transitions to Mion. Wow, what is going on? Wow, there, there was a lot. Wow. This editor did a lot. So they turned her into a cutout. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, that's that's a lot for just one transition. It's a great line. People say it's crazy. It's not just like people say it's crazy. Like they're saying, which 
Nyun is like, it means, it basically means bitch. Like, they're saying, like, people say I'm a crazy bitch. What's the loss to me? Oh, what a line! <laughs> What is this pre-chorus? What 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 was that? What oh my god. Oh my god, this part is so dope where they're like like just quickly just shouting. Wow, that is Shua? Shua's voice sounded so great. Wow, wow, wow. I like Shua doesn't sing too much in their title tracks. And so I'm a bit unfamiliar with Shua's voice, but wow, I love like the deep huskiness of that voice. I personally thought that was Bion uh, singing that part. I mean, yeah, that's what I thought until, you know, you see this part. Oh, the, oh, just the look. Dude, look at that. The red, blood red backdrop with the black outfits. It's so dope. It looks so good. Oogie looks badass with that hair. Oh, I love that part. That whole ending section where wow, Sonya just controls that. Oh my god, so dope. I mean, Tomboy, just like the song is talking about, they are, well, as, as they say at the end, neither man nor woman. And also, Sonya seems to love those outros, huh? Reminds me a lot of uh, the outro for Senorita, but she loves like not going the typical K-pop chorus route of like one final chorus. No, like... It's like we have a dedicated outro and it's really, really good. But I really, oh my God, I really love this. I lost my train of thought just by talking about that. Oh my God, what what was I trying to talk about? Oh, right. Uh, I, I was talking about um, uh, the, the point of the song, which is they're saying they're a tomboy. They're neither man nor woman. They're just idle. And... That reminds me back to uh, this one video um, I saw from Itzy. They had a Letters to Mitzi video. And uh, Yujin in that video talked about how she wants to be acknowledged as being just like a really, really good group, like as Itzy, rather than that like label of, wow, you're really good for a girl group or you're a really good girl group. Like she just wants to be seen as I'm a really good group. And 
you know you can see the you can see right here where they sl like slashed off even the queen and they're claiming they're just idle and the over, over the overall song is about defying expectations defying the box that people try to put you in no matter if people spit or curse on them on either side they're not feminine enough they're not masculine enough this is them saying like like what's the loss if people shit talk me all that matters is that i'm idle and the statement is i think more profound now because this is one hell of a comeback i mean conceptually visually it was so dope i mean the, the way they utilize the color red throughout this video oof um uh you know this is a group this is a great example of kind of what i was talking about with i uh, reacted to a group called tan that was great but in that music video, I was talking about how there's really nothing tying this music video together. They're running from one random scene to another. And this is a great example on how you can stitch together a bunch of random scenes, a bunch of random sets, and still make it look like a cohesive video, which is a color palette, you know? Right here, Minnie's in a bedroom. And then I don't know what Soyeon is supposed to be in. It's just uh four blank walls and i think you know they're kind of leaning into the whole people call me crazy thing so maybe they're uh, uh supposed to be portraying like a white padded cell um and then just like all the random sets like this they're in a kitchen here it, it's all tied together by a color scheme so i think they did that really well i think the entire section this whole uh barbie doll fantasy murder sequence where they kidnap and did they kill him I can't remember if they kill him or not. Real quick. So I don't... Oh. Well, they had a gun. So we can assume that they're implying that they killed him. Um, uh, specifically, this might be... I mean, this might be their sort of attempt at also a very feminist statement. There is a culture war going on in Korea right now. Uh, there's a very big, uh, I would say, not huge, but a pretty big presence of anti-feminist uh, ideas in Korea right now. And so something like this goes very, very, very much against that. And I don't want to say that they're making uh, a political statement, but... I mean, it unintentionally does, uh, even still, like, whether it was intentional or not, uh, even just from the messaging of the lyrics. Um, and then this part right here, this part. That. Oh, the editors, I think, oh, they did such a great job cutting between the silhouette portion right here with the red and black, by the way, it looks... Super deadly, super good. It's just that was so inspired, so inspired. One of my favorite parts of the video. It's a great outro. It's so badass. Um, so you know, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to reference the scandal they went through because you know we're here uh, on this channel. We're here about positivity. You know, I don't release reaction videos for songs that I don't like. You know, uh, unless. Uh, I have a critique behind it. And so I, I don't want to mention or discuss anything because it has nothing to do with the song. But I, the only thing I'm going to ask, uh, I'm going to pass the question off to you guys. There was a lot riding on this comeback. And so in, in regards to it all, do you think Idol was successful in making a comeback? Like in, in terms of like, there were a lot of expectations and a lot of eyes were pointing at this. And this was kind of a make or break moment for them. What do you guys think about that? I think whether you are an idol fan, whether you're not an idol fan, I think everyone's opinions here matters because idol was a group that was so powerful. I think as a girl group, they are one of the most powerful, one of the most unique girl groups on the scene that they're that kind of group that they survive not just because of the support of their fans, but they were big because they're known by everybody because they were so different on the scene. But uh, again, this was a very big comeback, a very important comeback. So do you think they did it? Do you think they nailed it? Personally, for me, I think they absolutely nailed it. Um, I, don't, 
I'm not going to put any words in their mouth and say like what the messaging of the song was and that it was intentional, but I think just objectively in terms of like pushing boundaries and still sounding like idol, still very much sounding like idol, bringing something unique and different to the table, such a refreshing, interesting, sharp top line. And then just the insane, really dope pop punk sound with that little whistling thing. Like a lot of people are trying to lean into this nostalgic phase that we're going through with like 90s or like a 2000 sound, but Idol, especially Soyeon, always throws in a little bit something different. And that whistling thing that I feel like a lot of people are going to concentrate on the pop punk aesthetic image of this. But I think the pop punk thing is really just it, it, it's secondary to the mischievous nature of this song. The whistling really sells that. It, it, I think the whistling of, of, of the song really leans into making them both badass, hardcore, and yet at the same time, still very chic and uh, very K-pop in that regard. So I think Soyeon absolutely nailed it. I think this is one of their best comeback songs. Uh, 10 out of 10 for me. I, I think both in the music video, I think the music video was shot extremely well. I think it was edited extremely well. And I think the song is incredibly catchy and incredibly addicting. And it feels like a great callback to form. You know, it, it has that exciting feeling of Idol's um, poppier stuff that it always had. Like they haven't missed a beat, even though they've been gone for a hot minute. But wow, just fantastic. I, I loved it. Uh, guys, that's it for my reaction review to Idol's Tomboy. Let me know in the comments down below, what did you guys think of the music video? Did you love it? Did it live up to your expectations? Were you hoping for something different? Let me know. Um, also, thank you to Flex Spot once again for sponsoring this video. We appreciate you guys uh, for supporting the channel. Uh, if you guys remember, want a Flex Spot desk, they are only doing a one day flash sale on Amazon. Link's going to be in the description. Remember, you can get 20% off. Of course, if you want to support us directly, you could always visit our Patreon. We are definitely going to be doing a listening party for Idol. Uh, they came back with a full length album, so I would love to check that out with you guys. It's going to be over on our Patreon. Patreon, so we'd love to see you there. Of course, you don't have to support us monetarily if you don't want to. If you guys want to support us for free, you could just hit the like button down below. You could also subscribe. We're going to have the subscribe button for you right here. Uh, make sure to hit that notification bell as well. And you can check out our other videos over here. And that's going to be it for us today. Thank you, everyone, for checking out our uh, video. Uh, thank you for supporting the channel. We'll see you next time. Bye.